Hey, what's good, everybody? Today we have Redux Friday. Is that a thing? I really don't know, but we're going to look at all the cards that came out. We're going to go look at the auction block. We're going to see what the market looks like and what should you do in preparation for this market crash. Prices have already started to come down. I anticipate that tomorrow prices will drop even further. So let's dive into it and let's look at some of these Redux. So first off, what you have here, you have Fletcher Cox is in packs now, 91. We have that Nick Chubb that came out first signatures. Cards okay. Um, we also have Devin White. Devin White, which is still a pretty good card at middle linebacker, especially with Lurker being a thing. So um, this card, will it'll be interesting to see how prices will drop. Uh, Darren Waller, I think this is a big card that people will probably be going after. Whenever you have transitions like this, it's kind of hard, right? Yesterday, people were panic selling. These cards were going for like 400K yesterday. And what normally happens, EA doesn't necessarily boost up the odds like crazy. So what normally happens, people will panic sell the day before. And then the day these Redux come out, prices actually go up because everyone panics sold and then these cards seem rare i hope that's not the case but that's what ea has been doing as of late let's take a look at some of these other ones uh kevin green is gonna be in packs this card man i have him on a niners theme team he plays out of his mind um i actually use him a lot as a spy now so um on us we changed our team captain to Jack Youngblood, and we were able to get edge threat for only two AP with five training. And then we have Haley on the other side with edge threat. And then we also have Reggie White at the tackle. So it kind of leaves Green the odd man out, but he still, with that 90 plus finesse move, he wrecks havoc. So this card is a beast. Even if you don't have a Niners theme team, highly recommend it. Um, Leonard Davis, best. Uh, what is what is he right guard right right or left guard in the game um we also have this card on the niners theme team and then we have warren Sapp, who wrecks a lot of havoc i heard a lot of great things i imagine with inside stuff this card is probably dope um and then we have larry zonka so that's what we have today um let's dive in and um Let's open these weekly packs. Let's see what we get out of these. So I open two. I, I, I usually open these on Fridays. I've actually pulled heat out of them. I think I pulled a limited Marcus Peters out of one of these. And I sold it, I want to say, for like close to 900K. So let's see what we get. It's not what you want to see. You're not what you want to see. Is the 84 the move? Yeah, we're going to take the 84. We're going to take guaranteed coins. Aaron Rodgers could be selling for more, but um, he might have been selling for more than 56K because he got that one card. Who knows? But um, <laughs> let's do the other one. All right, I think we have one more. And then maybe we'll open a gridiron pack. Tomorrow, I am debating. All right, I am debating. Do I open the Legend Fantasy pack? I might do it, man. I might have to open a bundle. Um, I don't always open bundles, but when I do, it has to be for cards like Mike Vick. Will we keep him? I don't know. We'll see how he plays. 82. Oh, bruh. That's painful. That one is painful. So, um, let's see. What, what do we get for him? Like Option unavailable. Of course. All right, so Greg Zerline goes for 18,000 coins. Um, I mean, we're going to take the coins. We will go ahead and take a look at the um, all-pro fantasy packs as well. So it, it's interesting because they're not doing the series updates, which we're, which, we're, which we're used to. They're doing some, you know, this this series, I, I, I don't know, 90 days, which seems a little long to me because once you get into like the fourth quarter madden's kind of dead so i don't know what they're doing and how they're gonna change pack odds but i personally don't like these packs at all we're gonna open one for the sake of the video um let's see what happens from this pack 
These packs used to be fire, man. 30,000 coins, but 60 just doesn't seem worth it. Like, bro, like, look at this. Um, ah, this is so frustrating. And, of course. All right, so we're going to go here. We'll take the 78. Uh, oh, we get three. Now, this is the round we're hoping for something decent. Coin card. <laughs> we're going to take the 80. <coughs> excuse me so yeah man this is what uh what we're looking at uh pro stay away from these packs they're definitely not good coin value Sixty-two thousand coins is crazy bro this is just this is madness um let's take a look at the market real quick let's see if any of these are even on the market all right so here we are um we're looking at the redux of the market and not very many of them up now this could be for one of two reasons a packs are garbage today so nobody's really opening packs b which this is what i think they're really not that great of a pull rate i mean remember what i told you yesterday people were were panic selling darren waller darren waller was going for about 400k yesterday now his redux is 438 you have two zonk you have one Zonka, two greens, one Devin White. I mean, that's kind of nuts, man. Um, let's look at the limited editions, seeing um, what Waller's going for. Look, 340. Okay, so you're probably better off. Nah, not good, man. Uh, this is not good. Come on, man. EA has to do a better job. I am convinced they do not like us. So let's look at what... Marino's price is going for starting at 94. We'll go to 90, 92, 93. So 886, his price went up just a little bit. Um, again, we shot ourselves in the foot and missed out on 300K because we were going to sell him for 1.3 1, 1 million. I fell asleep, didn't sell him, came back. Mike Vick comes out, or at least news, and his price drops. So we're probably going to stick with Marino. Let's look at 92, 93s. Um, the market value i don't think has shifted very okay so these cards have come down 230 but this is where they were at yesterday so 92s about 250 ish um now let's look at 90 and 91s and these cards not bad training value 117k so um not bad for training training will be going down so if you're gonna buy training if you're gonna buy a card wait till tomorrow all right and the last thing i want to mention is don't forget we have house rules i don't know if it's worth it for you but basically it's this is what it says switch it up with house rules get as many wins as possible and earn your choice of a 90 end cat or an 86 auctionable is it worth your time not sure 90 end cat I mean, Stefan Gilmore is good. Jamal Adams is good. I think Buckner is good. But the majority of you probably already got your guy. If you're no money spent, I think you kind of got to grind. Or you can get an 86 auctionable. It is 25 wins. So we'll see what happens. So anyways, be smart with your coins. If you're going to buy something, make sure you wait till Saturday. You probably want to wait between the... Um, if you're a Pacific time, you want to wait between the window of... I would say 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock to buy who you want and then kind of monitor the market, all right? Be careful. Be smart. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going for Vic or not? Remember, this is E2. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Um, share the video. Until next time, peace. We're out.